Welcome to Everyday Buddhism, making every day better by applying the proven tools found in Buddhist concepts. Welcome to episode 82 of Everyday Buddhism, making every day better. Well, it was my 70th birthday yesterday, or as my older brother reminded me in a birthday call, I have now entered my eighth decade. Thanks for that, Jim. But no matter which way you look at it, it appears I have become old. I don't feel old, really. As my mother used to tell me when I was younger, no matter how old you get, you feel like you're 35 in your mind. My mom has been gone for 25 years. She passed at age 74, which is another haunting shadow around the 70s. I saved a couple of members-only bonus episodes for release following episode 81, Navigating Grief and Loss with Kimberly Brown. They are Impermanence with Caspa Thompson, which was inspired by Shandao and The Five Remembrances by Bradley Janayo Nussbaum, and he was inspired by Titnat Han. So, since it was my 70th birthday, and I've been thinking a lot about impermanence, and since both of these meditations are on that subject, I thought I would release them publicly to celebrate my birthday. I know many of you have more of your life ahead of you rather than behind you. The truth is, we can never know. That's the thing about impermanence. And that's what these two contemplations are helping us to reflect on. It becomes harder to ignore impermanence as you age. Yet, I still find plenty of ways to forget about it. Not as many ways as when I was 35, but there are still plenty of ways to try to run from it. I have always kept death and impermanence in my mind, and more so after I turned 60. In episode 24, as a matter of fact, the 24 was Appreciating Life Through Death Meditation. I talked about how I read the obituaries as a sort of death meditation. My dad used to say, I read the obituaries to make sure I wasn't in there. I understand more and more what he meant. As more of my friends, family, teachers, neighbors, and colleagues pass away or are dealing with illness. That's the thing about growing old. It's harder to, harder to forget, harder to run away from impermanence as one of these meditations talks about. And the other one talks about the five remembrances, which are about old age, sickness, and death. So without additional introduction, please enjoy the contemplations and thank you to both Caspa and Bradley for their wonderful reflections. (laughs) 